In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated magnetic field template in PowerPoint and I hope this could be very beneficial for teachers and students to explain the concept of magnetic field in an animated way. So you can see here this uh, magnet which is the south and the north side and when I click it will show you how it the lines travels. You can see here the magnetic field travels and this is from the south it's going towards the north and then again this is from the north it is traveling to the south and pardon me if any mistakes happened in this particular diagram because i'm not a, a, a science student so let's start how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to view and enable the guides then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here and add towards the right side and make sure that it is properly aligned you can just select this one align you can just do a top also and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to change the color to somewhat lighter color here and this one i'm going to make it a, a red color here you can see here and to give a 3d look i'm going to add one more rectangle you can see here draw the rectangle here shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some dark blue color here and press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to give a dark red color and just put it here so you can see here it looks like a 3d effect and then i'm going to add the text here so which is go to insert text box here i'm going to type south you can see here make it bold increase the size you can and if you want you can interchange also the north can come this side and south can come the right side so it's up to your requirement and this will be a north maybe i'll right align this one and put it here so you can see here this is right south and this is north now once uh, we do this one let's add the magnetic lines go to insert shapes and from basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size you can see here and then shape outline you can give any dark color here and maybe you can increase the width of the line and shape fill make it no fill and then i'm going to just change it uh, the size or the shape right mouse click and edit points you can see here you can increase this one at the top and maybe you can make it something like this and this one also you can just reduce it from the bottom so it looks something like this so once this is done you can just send this two back so it looks this is the first one and if i want to make it two or three i can just double click uh, sorry ctrl d to duplicate increase the size you can see here i'm just increasing the size so this is my second magnetic line and press ctrl d and i'm just going to increase the size again so this is my third magnetic line and i'm going to just select this and send this to back so this is the, the three magnetic lines i have added here i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate Control G to group it go to rotate and I'm going to flip vertical and I'm just going to add it here and then send this to back so you can see here the magnetic lines have been added now let's add the magnetic lines for the south and the north in that case I'm going to insert shapes and from the lines I'm going to select the curve line you can see here just click this one here again one more here and then just attach it here so this is the first line and i can just add one more line again go to insert shapes the same thing curved line so i'm going to add one here and double click here so you can see here let me just move this on the top this will go here all right and i'm going to insert one straight line for the middle you can see here the straight line hold the shift key so let me just do it again insert shapes select the line hold the shift key and get it straight line you can see here then 
what you can do is i can just do it once again here at the bottom or i can just copy this press ctrl d to duplicate and i can just rotate it you can see a flip vertical and i'm going to attach one here and this also ctrl d to duplicate and then again flip horizontal and then add it here and i'm going to select all these lines again shape outline i'm going to give the same color and i'm going to <coughs> so increase the weight you can see here so this is the way you can and again if you want to make it more correct right mouse click edit points and then you can just adjust it according to your requirement you can see here you can just adjust it something like this also it can be done so once this is done i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side ctrl g to group it go to rotate and i can just say flip horizontal and put it towards the south side all right again ungroup it we don't want to group this even this also we need to ungroup it and then i'm going to select this magnet which is the south and the north and i'm going to bring to front and you can press ctrl g to group it also so it looks something like this now i'm going to add small triangles on each line so that we know that from which position these lines are going through go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle a small one you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some dark color you can see here and bring it and i'm going to just put it here okay Control D. So I'm going to animate. So that's the reason I'm going to keep it here. Then otherwise you have to add it here if you don't want to do the animations. So I'm just going to add one here. Press Control D to this side. Again Control D to duplicate this and just rotate this. You can see here. I can flip vertical at this side because it travels from north to south. Control D. You can see here like this and then i'm going to do it duplicate this ctrl d then i'm going to add it here just rotate it so it is going from the south to north you can see here ctrl d again and make it straight this is for the this one again ctrl d so like this you need to just align it control d like this you can do it and again i'm going to duplicate this and this is it's going it's coming out from here so the point it's outside you can see here let me just move it here control d add one more here so this is outside again the last one you can see here with this we have completed the basic design you can see here the flow of the lines and once this is done it's time to do the animation so to add the animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane and this one i'm going to add the custom animation the motion path and uh, this i'm not going to show you all maybe one or two examples only i'm going to show you so i'm just going to select this let me just zoom it so that exactly you know what i'm trying to do and go to the add animation scroll it down you can see here under motion path custom path can you see here but you have to make sure that this is first selected okay and then i'm going to select the custom path and from here i can just click you can see here i'm just going to type it one by like this you can see here double click so it you know it's it's going like this and then i can just double click this one smooth start smooth and remove it or make it zero go to timings you can the first thing can be happen on click then this is i can make it fast and repeat until end of the slide and click ok 
so you can see here it will keep on repeating like this okay so once this is done then i have to select this one this one and do the same custom path animation and for here also i'm going to do the same thing let me just select this one you can see here again add animation i'm going to color select the custom path and then from here i'm just going to click on this line you can just see i'm going to make a path here and double click this one so it, it just it flows like this again double click this one remove the smooth start smooth and timings you can make it fast and repeat until end of the slide so if i play it looks something like this when i click you can see here it is let me just make this also with previous and play it again so you can see here it shows something like this so this is how you need to do it for the rest of the animation and this one it has to come from here so i'm just going to bring this here you can see here so all these arrows has to be moved to this side so let me just put it here and again add animation custom path and i'm going to select here if you want you want you can just stop it here by double clicking or if you want you can go it on top also so whichever way double click so it goes something like this again i can remove the smooth start smooth and timings i can make it fast until end of the slide and i can just say with previous or after previous or whichever way you want so if i play it comes from something like this you can see here so this is the simplest way you can just show the magnetic field animation.